What up, y'all? It is Halloween weekend. The time has finally come. And tonight, Friday, we are celebrating, starting this spooky weekend off right. We're hitting up El Kukui, going to get some spooky tacos, some spooky margaritas. We're gonna take you along on this adventure of this weekend of pumpkin carving and costumes and terrifying children. It's gonna be sick. It is Saturday, October 30th. It's the day before All Hallows Eve. We are heading to a little birthday party um, for our friend Logan's little boy, little precious Harrison. And then after that, super intense pumpkin carving. It's going down. It's going down, y'all. Like, actually, we were we have four pumpkins right now, but we're debating if like we want to go get more and just be that little girl from Trick or Treat that had like 50 million pumpkins in her yard. It's a pretty good life. So that yeah, may happen. We've got pumpkins, pumpkin beers to drink while we while we massacre the pumpkins. I'm so excited to pumpkin carve. Pumpkin carving is literally, I don't know. I mean, costuming is probably, probably uh, my favorite Halloween activity, but pumpkin carving is a definite close second. Okay, so I poked holes, so now it's time to stab. These are great. I don't know why his nose kind of looks like a pig, but they're really cute. Okay, I cannot tell you guys how awesome this kit was. This kit, lifesaver. Also, really spooky. It's a bad cut. Fatality! We have to cut it off now. The whole thumb's gotta go. It's no good anymore. But yeah, I'm gonna link this in the description box so you guys can get this for next year because if you don't, you make me sad. Okay, so I have never roasted pumpkin seeds. I'm gonna try it. Let me see, I always say I'm gonna do this every year and I never do. So we're gonna see. Um, we're gonna I just wash these bad boys and we're gonna season them up and see what they taste like. herself at home. <laughs> you can't even see you behind her. No pressure. Top of your head, it doesn't have to be all time. Favorite spooky movie. Go around in circles, go. Favorite, or would you say favorite scary movie or favorite splasher or favorite? Oh my God, just like a scary movie. Do I have to use the scream voice? Scream. You cheated. Katie. Dang, girl. You, you need to have one. I'm a little bitch. <laughs> Good choice. Good. Look at this baby. Oh, yeah, yeah. I gotta go, I gotta go with the Wolfman. Wolfman's my favorite. Um, so we've got our pumpkin seeds ready. Gonna put them in the oven at 350. And we'll see. I don't know if this is gonna be good, but um, I don't know. Why not? Okay, so. Got leprechaun and hood on. I've taken out the pumpkin seeds. 
I'm doing this every year. It's delicious. Really, really good. Mm-hmm. anywhere today and just find a Michael Myers mask. That's all I need is a Michael Myers mask. It it's can, not gonna happen. It could be the OG Michael Myers mask. It could be the Halloween Kills. It could be Halloween 2018 version. It really could be any of them. I'm cool with any of them. I don't think we're gonna find it. I really no, don't. If we do, I'm gonna clean it. I'm gonna like mess it up a little bit. And then I've already got, you know, since I work in the oil and gas industry, I do tech in the oil and gas, I, I've got coveralls. So I can just take one of my old pairs of coveralls and like pull the patch off and distress, distress it a little bit. And then I got a Michael Myers costume. I don't think it's gonna happen. I'm notorious for this stuff. I change my mind a lot and I'm way too spontaneous. And I'm like, I'm gonna go do this. I Here hate we are. spontaneity. It scares me. So we'll try this out. See if I can get a Halloween mask from anywhere. And if not, then I'll just be Jason tonight. I'll just suck it up and wear all of it. And then, yeah go to the grocery store I think mm -hmm. um, I'll maybe get some pumpkin beer some more pumpkin beer and then we got to go pick up a fog machine that I left over at a friend's house and then we'll do some last minute lighting stuff for the front yard and then yeah it's buoy time it took I don't know if you can hear me <laughs> in this thing. It took two party cities, a local Halloween shop, and two spirits. But in that final spirit, we got him. Not one, but two. Can I go to the grocery store like this? <laughs> I kinda wanna do it. Tonight's gonna be fun. Oh, I don't know if that cool front is still here. Cause we just set up the yard. Look at my dirty garage. Hi. This is not a uh, whatever, better homes and gardens. No, this is trashy garage channel. Anyway, <laughs> we've got the front yard set up. We are sweating, literally drenched. Uh, but we got a cool little, ooh, look at that. Little sunburst right there, that's cool. Um, we got your boy, Augustus, he's in the yard. Uh, got a little puppy dog. <laughs> Um, and we got some tombstones and it's going to be tight and Matt is going to be terrorizing the children. Uh, he might be doing that now with, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but, uh, I'm super excited. Now we just got to suit up. What up guys? I'm basically hanging out in the front yard just in case any kids show up, but we got our little candy station set up right here. We got the decorations going. I think Tracy showed you that while she getting dressed, I'm going ahead and drinking a little Elysian Imperial Pumpkin Ale, the Great Pumpkin. Pretty good. Looking forward for a nice spooky night. It's the first time I ever did Michael Myers, so I just took some old work outfit, ripped the patches off, put the mask on. Should be a good time. All right, guys, it is time. It's Transformation Central. Let's do it. Okay, guys. We are ready, we are set up. Okay. We're just waiting for the trick-or-treaters and we're waiting for the dark. But the shape is here. He's gotta hydrate. It's gonna be a long night of a lot of killing.
the shadows. This is quite possibly the most successful Halloween that we've ever had in this neighborhood. The first year we moved here, which is like three years ago, we had no trick-or-treaters. So I don't know if it's just like a weekend thing or if everybody's like just trying to get over the pandemic and COVID and just trying to celebrate. But this was a crazy good Halloween. Like we are almost out of candy, almost out of candy. So now that we are done handing out the candy, I think we're gonna take a little spooky walk around the neighborhood. They have a house in our neighborhood that used to work at the haunted house on the West Bank, Chinchuba. If you know, you know. It was a great haunted house, but they have a really big setup every year. So I think we're gonna go walk in, check them out as well as maybe some other houses. So we'll see you there. Ooh, the fog, y'all. It's freaking bats, I love Halloween. <laughs> That's a wrap on Halloween, y'all. That's a wrap. We did it. Michael literally brought screams to this night. It was fun. It was great. Um, did you show them all of the, the cool snacks we had? Uh, I did not. We got quite a good spread. <laughs> We've got Michael's head. Uh, we got some taco fun dip. Fun fact, this trick or treat, 2018 Michael Myers mask does not fit my gargantuan face. So it clearly means I need to be a sexy Michael Myers, right? But it looks really cool in a bust, so. It does. All right, we got a quite good spread. We got some taco dip. We have, you know, charcuterie situation. Apple cider yogurt pretzels. Really, really good. There we go. When you get to Halloween night, it gets kind of like just sad because it's over, you know? But. This was the first time we've had this many trick-or-treaters trick like ever since we've lived here for three years. So I couldn't be more excited, but I want to bring this up because I got a bone to pick with you parents. None of these kids, like maybe like one or two of them. Kids don't say trick-or-treat anymore. Hmm. Trick-or-treat. Kids don't say trick-or-treat anymore. And I was like, that's like Halloween 101. Like, what is this? Te teach your kids to say trick or treat. I mean, I gave them candy anyway, but I really didn't want to. So work on that. But I hope you guys enjoyed coming along on our spooky Halloween weekend. And I hope all of you, I just got caught in my hair. Did you see that? I hope all of you had a good spooky Halloween weekend too. And look, just because Halloween is over, doesn't mean the spooky spirit doesn't have to be alive. Put up some freaking bats, light up a pumpkin, because it's Halloween all year, y'all.